All right. Hi, everybody. This is Jim with YouTube user Jim Lee Elevators. And today what you're looking at right here is my vintage Otis Adams replacement call station from One Shell Plaza that was given to me by ThyssenKrupp Elevator. I got this piece for my birthday last year ago. Well, particularly at least a week after I passed my birthday, which speaking of birthdays, my birthday is only a week left coming up. So that's very, very exciting. So anyways, this came, like I said, this came from One Shell Plaza because look at the floor plan right here. See, I actually remember, like, see, these two are the service elevators. I stumbled across them in the lobby when I was here, like, several years ago, and these are the main passenger elevators. I just didn't know these were service elevators. And then what happened was that I just pressed one of the down buttons like this, and then when the door opens, it was just all a stainless steel cab with, um, with your Atom Survivor Vander Resistant fixtures on the inside, just like at Two Shell Plaza. But the, the thing is, like, uh, the, the panel is, uh, is designed differently. See, see, this is the elevator car door, and then the panel is onto the corner. It's a 90-degree angle, not, uh, not parallel like this and this. But anyways, so what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be wiring this up. All right, now, before I wire this up real quick, I just pulled this off the call station board. I just want to show you something real quick. You see, remember this Adams call button that I showed you how to restore in my last video that I took three months ago? See, just the exact same contact blocks and everything. See, um, but this time I'm going to be showing you this lamp socket right here and basically how to hook it on just like what you see on a real elevator. So what you need to do is you just flip this button around and you see that hole right there that is where the light goes into see this is where the light goes basically what you do is you just match it on there and what you do is just push it in and it plugs inside right there you see this is like what you see on a real elevator when it was in service at that time and when you press that button that light will come on. This is like what you see on a real elevator when it was in service. But in my case, the way how we're going to be wiring this, we are not going to be using this lamp socket right here. We're going to be using an LED. So with that being said, the way how you remove it, what you do is just you pull it from here. Just keep pulling it out using force. It just comes right out. Just like that. So here's a diagram right here my father just made yesterday. See, what I'm gonna be showing you is, you see this, you see this line right here, this uh, this line pointing at a 30 degree angle? See, that is called your switch. Like when you press that button right there, it closes, which it'll light up the LED, which is that upside down triangle with a minus sign located down at the bottom. See, that is your LED, which is LA, that's LED A. And moving down here, this is LED B. See, same thing that I showed you. And you see, this is the positive, which is the red wire. And this is your negative, which is the black wire right here. See, this is the wiring drawing right here. And as you see down here, this is the schematic design right here. See, if you want to do it this way, just pause the video right now. You see, these are LED, LEDs. This SW is called the switch. And remember, this is just the same exact design I showed you when I did the EPCO halo line wiring a while back. And this line right here, that indicates your battery pack right here. And that ties into there. You see, like I said, that is your battery where you hook it up onto. All right, so now that I just flip this over and put the diagram having it stand up on itself, so you guys get the idea. You see that right there? And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, like I said, I'm not sure if I said this already, we're going to be using the wiring drawing, not the schematic, because it's a lot different and I don't know much about it than this one. So with that being said... If you want to 
Take a look at it. Pause the video now. All right, so I just laid this flat on the ground, including this diagram paper right here. Now, I just got myself the LEDs inside this bag right here. And you see, look at this. You see this right here? You see that's blue LED, which speaking of blue, as we all know, this month is Autism Awareness Month. And as I found out that April 2nd is Autism Awareness Day. So with that being said, I'm going to give you a little special on this. See, you remember this Epco Halo Line call station I wired up last month ago that I showed you a tutorial on? Well, as you look at this, see, look at this. It's got a blue LED on it. You see the blue right there? And look towards the back. You can get a much better view if I press it. See that right there? That's the same exact color as for this LED right here that I'm about to show you. Now, as you see right here, these are the two black little wires right here that is for this, which we connect from here to here. These are the first negative wires that we're going to be using. And as for the buttons itself, you got to indicate which one's positive and negative. As for both sides right here, the, the three screws located above is positive. And then the two screws below, that is negative. Same thing goes with this one. You got to indicate which one is positive and negative so that way you're able to power it on properly. All right. Got a three volt battery and an LED. Here's a much better view of it. You see this LED right here I just showed you before I pull it out. Short one's negative, the tall one is positive. All right, now what we can do is we can spread it out just a little bit so we can test it out. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out. Now watch this. It lights up. See, look at that. Tap it, it lights up. See, just a little test. See, light it up blue for autism awareness. See, look at that. It lights up. Pretty cool, isn't it? So it works, perfect. Let's get started on the wiring. All right, got the LED stuffed inside this hole and I just tighten this up already. And now we have this black wire, which is the negative, And we're going to stick it onto this screw right here. We're going to make sure this edge is twisted so it doesn't dangle out which can be which can which can spread all over. So we're going to tighten it like this. And we're going to shove it down below the screw. Tighten it up. And now it stays perfectly. See? Now I got this completely hooked on. And now we have this one screw to just wedge it onto the positive part of the LED. All right, just got the negative wire filled on to this side right here. Next, we're gonna do is fill up the positive wire and we're going to be doing the exact same thing on this one like I did on this one. So everything will all be off camera that I'm doing this, but you all get the idea on how I'm going to be doing this. Well, before we do the rest of the wiring, first I want to show you something. This is just a quick test. See, I just got the light powered on to this battery. But you see something weird right here? Look at this middle. See, there is like, there is like um, a dot in the middle. Usually arrows do not have those dots right there for most of the real elevators. So we're gonna need to find some ways to cover that up. All right, just pulled it out so I can show you how to resolve the problem. You see, this is the original look. You see, the arrow is lighting up in the middle. And like I said, we don't want that. We want just the ring to light up just like what you see on a real elevator. So what I did uh, is, I just, is I just cut up a piece of cardboard right here from a box and what I did is I just shoved it inside the cap. We're going to press it in there. Press it in there. 
just like that. All right, got a piece of electrical tape. And what we're going to do is just we're going to press it inside the cap and let it let it stick onto the let it hold the cardboard so it doesn't move. And there you go. We got this one piece put inside there. Now guess what? The problem is solved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing the exact same thing on the other one. All right, here goes a quick test. See, look at that. Does I have the dot and the arrow any more than it used to be? See, now let's do the down arrow. All right, here goes the down arrow. See, same thing. No dot in the arrow that I just covered up. Let's take it off. All right, now let's finish up the wiring process. All right, the wiring is almost done. As you can see right here, look at the down button. It is starting to work. Now, what we need to do is we have to connect this up button right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick this double wire right here into this negative side of the contact block and then this positive onto this side right here with the three screws. That's how we're going to be wiring this up so that it's going to work. So with that being said, let's finish up the grand finale. Okay, the wiring is completely finished. You see, I hooked everything on. See, there's your three volt battery right there. And now what we're gonna do is flip this call station around and give this thing a test. Wow, look at that. Look at this, it lights up now. Look at that. I can't believe I wired up my Adams replacement Otis touch button call station from One Shell Plaza. Look at that. Look at that. You see? It lights up blue. So you know what that means. Light it up blue for autism awareness. See? This is amazing. What do you guys think of this? Put a lot of hard work into doing this work. Wow. This, this is amazing. Look at that. See? It's lit. This is awesome. What do you guys think? Isn't this amazing? So you know what that means. Time to light it up blue. Light it up blue for autism awareness. Man, I can't believe. Oh boy, I love this a lot. So with that being said, this is going to conclude the video. Make sure to please show your support to kids with autism or other mental disabilities as part of this month special. So, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this elevator wiring tutorial video. Thank you all so much for taking this time to watch this. I wish all of you well, and God bless to everyone. With that being said, that is going to be it, and hope you enjoy the video. Bye, everyone.